I'm Christina Fugis with Momiki Technology, and I am here today with Dave Tomek, president of Eden Tool and Eden Manufacturing, based out of New Freedom, Pennsylvania. Hi, Dave. Hi, Christina. So let's first give people a little taste of who Eden is. You are an 18-person medical mold builder, mm -hmm. and you guys are pretty much known for your capabilities in EDM, grinding, and hard milling, correct? Yep, that's correct. Um, and everything that you do is based on predictable manufacturing. Yep. And the core of that is hard milling, but you say that it's not just about hard milling or milling hardened material fast. Correct. It's a process. It's a process. So yeah. explain that to us. Sure. Yeah. So predictable manufacturing is understanding all the variables in the whole manufacturing process. So it's understanding your cutters, your holders, your heat, your variables, uh, how to control them, what to do so that you can put a part into your machine and you can have it come out within microns of where you expect it to come out. Okay. All right. So with that, let's talk about what we have in front of us. Sure. This is a medical mold you brought to us to pretty much demonstrate. Sure predictable manufacturing yep. and mold making. So take us through the critical aspects of this mold. Yeah, this is a class 101 plus medical tool. So in the SPI class 101 plus, that is all interchangeable inserts, no hand fitting, uh, replaceable inserts on order to micron accuracy. Um, so the part is very critical. This retractable needle has super sh sharp uh, features that are critical to its function. Um, and, um, the venting has to be completely consistent, otherwise the cavities don't fill. This is only one half. There's actually three B halves. It's a rotary tool. So everything has to match perfectly. What technology is key to predictable manufacturing? Understanding the technology is key to predictable manufacturing because there's so many variables that we have to control um, to make the, the end result predictable. Got it. So while I have you here, let's talk about the Mold Making Scholarship Prize that mm -hmm. you created for Mike Eden, who was the past owner of Eden Tool and Eden Manufacturing, who passed away unexpectedly last year, 2021. Yeah. Talk about that a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Mike passed away and uh, Mike was passionate. We all are passionate about the industry, uh, apprenticeships, uh, teaching, paying it forward. And for us, uh, Gersher Toolbox is the classic wooden toolbox. Uh, we all have them in our shop and they're iconic. And so we thought we'd set up a scholarship fund to put passion back in the trade and try and uh, first, second year apprentices can apply. And we have uh, three winners and okay. Herman Schmidt has also donated a, a nice tool making vice. And so we actually have four lucky winners. Nice. All right, so we did the first drawing. Yeah. Uh, this is an ongoing Yep. way to honor Mike and to support American mold manufacturing. Yep. But we have Jake, his son, and Rachel, his daughter, were unable to be with us, yep. but we recorded them, and we're going to cut to it right now because we wanted them to be able to present the winners or announce the winners. Um, so here they are. Hi, everyone. We're Jake and Rachel Eaton, and we're here today to present the lucky winners of our dad's toolbox scholarship fund. And along with three toolboxes that we'll be announcing the winners to today, We'll also be announcing the winner to a Herman Schmidt vice that was donated by Herman Schmidt themselves. So with that said, the first winner of the Herman Schmidt vice is... Reese Elledge. And then now for the three winners of the Gershner Toolboxes, we have Zach Kameyer, Nathan Alderson, and Taylor Bartelt. Congratulations to the three lucky winners. And we would also like to give a special thank you to everyone who donated and to everyone who applied. We will also have another round of giveaways coming up in the spring, and there will be more information to come on that. So thanks again.